Hello, the Lakbam family. Welcome to our live stream. In case you are new here, just feel most welcome. This is the right place to be. My name is Delak Mam Debra Nanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia. And I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. I promise to come back after a short while. I'm here. And I'm creating awareness. I want to share this so that people can understand what really happens. Some people are not lucky. I'm sharing this information because I want to create awareness. I want to tell people that some things that can happen, some people you wouldn't even believe, but it happens. I, I'm trying to share this story because this lady, she's already back home and she has opened up. She has decided to share her experience. I want to, I want people to feature what was going on to in this house what really happened I was just watching that clip this is too much I know there are some people who can't speak up but this lady has just decided to speak on your behalf if you can watch that lady she's very beautiful very beautiful she's very beautiful and she went through a lot and she has decided to share her story so that people will learn and this story is going to save one person ule mwenye anaweza sema pana hello mom hope you have a full welcome please we need you eh siko vibaya i'm trying to i'm trying kujiskuma and i want people to share this video if possible I know there are some people who will be like, like mom, speak in English. I'm going to mix because I want people to get the information. I want my fellow people to get the information. So I'll be using more Swahili because that is my local language. I want my people to understand what I'm going to share. This is a housemaid who went to work in Saudi Arabia. She, she just fell in the wrong hands. Kwa, kwa mwanaume ambaye ni timmafisi mafisi ya mwanaume hawezi ona skirt. Huyo mwanaume hata alikonfess akasema mimi si tu kwangi wafanyikazi mimi naletanga mabibi. This man of the house the employer said I don't employ maids I employ wives. So if you come to my house as a housemaid you are going to play the role of a of a wife. Hile sana sama quick recovery please mungu akupe nguvu na usidi kusaidia wengi I will Uyu uyu mama vile anaeleza iko hivi Uyu mzee wa hii nyumba alikuwa alikuwa anapenda yani alimwambia mimi naletanga hapa wanawake mabibi sio mfanyikazi So huyu mwanaume Uyu timu mafisi ya mwanaume anasema hawezi fika kwa choo akakojoe Awezi fika kwa cho so anaita maid akuje amkojole kwenda kwa mdomo aidha ameze ama aenda akateme kwa kwa cho Our ladies are going through a lot Our ladies are going through a lot and we need to speak up We need to speak up we need to speak up we are not going to keep quiet we have to speak Najua watu wapendi ukweli lakini we have to speak the truth and it will set, set us free. Lazima tuongee ukweli kuna watu ambao wanaangukia mikono mbaya. So huyu mwanaume akimuita anamwambia anamwambia fungue mdomo. Sasa hiyo akimwambia si ati anamwambia ana mdomo ati oh fungua mdomo akona gun. Akona gun na iko na marisasi anamuonyesha. Anamwambia mimi Sija kwa ajili kwa sababu sija kwa ajili kazi hapa kwangu kwa sababu wewe ni mfanyikazi. Mimi naajiri watu hapa wakue mabibi zangu na wasikize kitu chenye nawaambia. Na uki, uki, ukiwahi jaribu kufungua mdomo ngwe nitakumaliza. Huyu mama sasa alikuwa na given. 
akimuletea hiyo pipe yake hiyo hiyo pipe yake hiyo pipe yake ya mkojo anamwambia hizo tu spams tuote ameze wa mama wanapitia shida people are going through a lot suffering inafanya watu wanateseka in the wrong hands of people watu wenye hawana watu wenye hawana utu hata kidogo anamlazimisha kufanya hizo vitu zote na anamwambia mimi napenda kuua na napenda damu na mimi hautamaliza mwaka hapa kwangu nitakumaliza ukiona huyo msichana amekatwa katwa amekatwa shingo amekatwa uso amekatwa private parts anampiga anamrusha panga inamkata lakini huyo msichana analazimika kusema ati alikuwa anapanda ngazi ndio akaanguka ndio mama asijue ni nini nimemkata msichana anabebwa anapelekwa hospitali anawekwa kwa ward ana ana lose conscious akisimama the first person anaona ni huyu mzee ako kando yake amekaa yani anatamani ku, ku anatamani apate tu mtu wa kumwambia what she is going through anakosa people are going through a lot watu wanapitia mashida mpaka unashangaa huyo mama nimesikiza story yake anasikia tu vibaya sana nimesikia tu vib, nimesikia tu inaniuma Tuombe tu watu wetu wapate kazi tu. Mali pazuri. People are going through a lot and we are just keeping quiet. We need to speak up because depression is real. Watu wetu watakufa juu ju ya depression. Watu watasema kuna mtu atauliza sasa na ofisi ilikuwa wapi? You have seen what we have been doing, eh? Office awajali. Huyu msichana wakati alitoka Kenya ofisi yake walimwambia in case of anything let us know so wakati alipata na hiyo shida akijaribu kuambia ofisi wanasema ananaanganya akijaribu kuambia ofisi ya Saudi wanasema anadanganya Grace anasema may god see her through But nakwambia naweza uma hiyo pipe nikikufa ni mwache kama hana pipe. So um sana alipigwa aka, akaenda kwa ofisi akarudishwa kwa ofisi aka, unajua kitu nataka watu waelewe hizi ofisi za Saudi Arabia hizi ofisi zingine wanasimamanga na watu wao hata kama wanaona mtu wao kuna makosa wanasimamanga na mtu wao kwa sababu wewe uko peke yako and you are a foreigner in that land don't expect what I could tell and that is a reality that is a reality what wanafaa kujua that is a reality what wanafaa kujua wewe sio wa kwao na watasimama na wewe wa expose mtu wao huyo msichana alipigwa aka faint akapigwa hadi akapata fahamu akasimama akarudishwa kwa hiyo nyumba tena Mimi nasikia tu kama kichwa inaniuma lakini kwa sababu hii story iko very touching Mimi natakanga tu watu wanajionea tu juni imebidi tu niweka hiyo link watu wanajionea tu venye anajielezea yeye mwenyewe first and information Sometimes easy stories we share them so that people can learn wewe uko pale unangoja uende Saudi Arabia unashinda ukiniuliza like mom wamefunga visa wamefungua wamefanya nini sometimes easy stories maybe inaweza kuwa ni wewe mmoja tu utasikia story i'm not going i'm not telling you not to go there maybe this story wewe mwenyewe ukiipata itakusaidia you make your decision right i'm just trying to share this because ni vizuri Maria na People should not call when I'm live. Watu wangu, muniwache tu nimfanye kwanza Kenya nafanya. Before you make calls. Maria nasema God see him driven me na umia na toroka Mungu mbele. 
Grace anasema team strong. Emma nimeona anasema so sad. Grace anasema team strong. Tuzidi kuambiana some of us are going through a lot na wengine hawana hata any way of communication ndio waitisha usaidizi. Ukiomba ombea wenzako hata kama wajui. True. 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 Sasa huyu mama alirudishwa kwa the same house. Unajua akirudishwa kwa the same house waiguru ni ule mama wa nyumba anamuuliza ni nini mbaya? Mimi sinakupea chakula. Sinakupea kila kitu. Kumbuka mtu anajua hii story ni huyu msichana na huyu mzee anamtreaten ukiambia bibi na kumaliza. Then bibi a, a, siku nyingine akaona a, karibu awapate red handed bibi akamuona akamwambia anytime utapenda huyu bwana yangu nitakuua. So akaua ako kwa ako katikati amefinyika bibi yake huyo mwanaume huyo mwanamke alikuwa anajua bwana yake vizuri sana so alikuwa an, anaona for me aki ni mawambi no one is talking to me in this house slayer anasema hivyo if nobody is talking to you and hawakuchapi uh, na wewe unafanya kazi yako na wanakulipa mshahara yako that is exactly what you want there to do kufanya kazi kulipa mshahara and it's not a must to talk to them hakuna kitu watakufanyia Elizabeth anasema niliona kwa tuko it was so traumatizing Unajua unajua wa mama wetu huwa wanafika mwisho our ladies huwa wanafika mwisho ukiona mtu amekuja boldly amesema let me share this information I want to help somebody somewhere Uyo ni mtu amejitolea anasema these things they do happen behind the scenes. Wewe mwenyewe ni made kwa hapo. Bwana anakutumia vibaya. Bibi anakuwon usijaribu kupenda bwana yake. Bwana anakukata mpaka unapelekwa hospitali lakini hakuna mtu anajua ni nini imekufanya. Inabidi udanganye for your survival. Nasi anasema follow you from Riyadh hapa ni Mungu ni mimi bora niko na mama tu. Kuna wamama wanapitia shida. Kuna wamama wanapitia shida. Ana watu wameamua kufunguka roho kusema I'm just warning people here. I'm not perfect, yes. I did another show the other day pale TikTok. Msana mwingine akafunguka roho akasema one of the family members wanasema anataka kunioa. Bati nimewaambia wa ningoje ni malizo contract lakini huwa wananipeleka out wameshamnunulia mapete mingi ameproposiwa na anangoja amalize contract ndio atarudi nyumbani ndio aende kuolewa of which ni vile anajaribu ku buy time but nataka kukuambia kuna vitu zingine watu watakufanya zikakukanganya kabisa ukose kujielewa sometimes we need to be prayerful kabisa there is power on the knees watu waweke magoti chini watu waombe Watu waombe our ladies are going through a lot na ni vile tu mtu hawezi kukuambia this is what i'm going through Usiku huyu mwenye amenyamaziwa Slayzan vile wamekunyamazia hata wako sawa Bora wajakuja kukudhuru Wewe uko sawa Sasa huyu msichana kuna watu wanauliza nao wa mama vina waendangi na wao ni masisi TV. Huyo msichana alikuwa anafanywa aje mpaka huyo bwana anampata. Ndio alisani niwaambie msichana ndiye arudishe kutoka kwa ofisi tena to the same house alikuja akashika mimba ya huyu boss. Na watu wanasema kwani alikuwa anampata aje na bibi alikuwa. Hao watu kama uko, 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 uko nao watu uko golf unajua watu wanakuanga online. Wanaweza kuwa online mpaka asubuhi kabisa kuanzia usiku watu wako online wako online wewe saa zingine maybe umeenda kulala so huyu mzee wa hii nyumba akiona bibi yake yako online yeye alikuwa anaenda analala mapema so anaona ile masaa ya maid maybe maid anaweza baki akifanya kazi mzee ataenda amalize usingizi yake mapema huko and then huyu maid akiamuka wanaanza kupambana na yeye sasa mama kilala analala for good Juu kwa mkakao inamkanga wanamkanga saa sita ama saa saba ama saa tisa. So huyu msichana huyu mama alijaribu kupambana na huyu mwanaume kwa hii nyumba yake. Alijaribu kupambana na yeye sana lakini akazidiwa. 
So kushare story yake na mtu mwingine akamconnect kwa watu wa empathy. Maybe sasa anaweza kusaidiwa. Ndiye akapewa namba vile anajieleza. Ndiye akapewa namba. So kupigia empathy anawaelezea this is what I'm going through. Uh, mnaweza kunisaidia. Lila ni mwanga anasema hi mom good job watching you from Lebanon prayer is the key for everything. Amen. So hiyo namba inalipiwa akapigia huyo mtu akamwambia shida nyana pitia anamwambia huyo mzee wa nyumba ananitumia vibaya. Huyo huyo mtu wa empathy unajua saa zingine mtu anaweza kama mimi lack mom unaweza niambie uko na shida nikwambie ebu unasema umepigwa ebu nitumie picha nione penye umepigwa. Sometimes mimi wa udili na evidence ndio maana watu hawakujangi kuniambia ni nijumi na, na dealing na evidence. Kama una evidence uwezi kuja kwangu na mdumu. So huyo mtu wa empathy aka akamwambia hebu tuma picha yako ni kuone ati akamwona akamwambia uko mrembo sana hata mimi ungekuja kwangu the first thing ungenipatia hiyo katiba nisome uko mrembo hebu niambie umefika mwisho hauna option unaona hapa ndio unaweza ku nini hapa ndio unaweza kupata msaada Wacha sasa nipige umepewa namba imepokelewa. It's like vile tunatafuta tafutanga ama agent unasema akina si yapokea saidi huyu mtu. Si yapokea sasa mtu amepokea simu anakuambia hebu nitumie picha yako unamtumia. Wewe unamwonyesha tu umekatwa panga hapa hivi umeumizwa hapa anakuambia ah. Na si uko mrembo. Pia mimi ningekupata hivi. Ning, hata mimi ningekufanyia hiyo kitu. Hebu enda chini unitumie hapo chini nione. Huyo ni mtu mwenye alikuwa akusaidie. Huyo ni mtu mwenye alikuwa akusaidie mwenye ulikuwa na hopes kwake kabisa. Mogucha mocha anasema serikali ingefunga wasichana wetu kwenda Saudi hapa Qatar kwa sababu hawakuje na huku. Yeye ni mogucha amesema. Kuna mwenye anasema yeye ako peke yake na ana advice wa Grace Mbo anasema Slayza and mami usijipe stress kama uko safe wewe fanya kazi zako ukimaliza ingia online make yourself busy just pretend wewe unakaa alone in that house as long as unakula na unalipwa masiku zinasonga Exactly Huyo ni mtu alitamani apate mtu wa kumsaidia akakosa Yaani sio ati lazima pale penye umetegemea utasaidiwa utasaidika Yaani ilikuwa ilikuwa ni bahati mbaya kwa huyu mwanadada. Let me say like that. Ilikuwa ni bahati mbaya kwake sana. Ilikuwa ni bahati mbaya kwake sana. Huyu msichana alisema huyu mzee alimwambia ameua wasichana wengi. Na ndio mkisikia watu wakisema vitu si ati wanarobokwa ama wanatafuta views ama wanataka ku trend mtu anaongea na reality. Huyo msichana akisema alikatwa panga anaonyesha nimekatwa hapa nimekatwa hapa kitu yenye inaonekana ako hospitali ako admitted vile anayapitia Huyo mzee alimwambia nitakumaliza nitakuweka kwa freezer and then nitakutupa zibala Ata mutupa zibala zibala ni karatasi ya black wanaikanga uchafu na huyo sasa ndio nakwambia kuna bosses wengine ni wanyama. Kuna bosses wengine ni wanyama and that's a reality. Watu wetu wanafanya kazi golf. Unaweza kuwa umejipata kwa situation kama hiyo. Let me tell you one thing. Hizi ofisi zimekuwa mbaya. Ofisi ukifika pale unapiwa unarudi the same house. I'm still loving Mori. Mori nampenda sana. Mori nampenda sana ule Mori ambaye amekuwa rescued alikuwa posi wake alikuwa anataka kumrep. Walimpiga, wakampiga, wakamvunja mpaka mguu, lakini akasema siwezi rudi. Siendi kazi mahali popote. Ako wapi? Ako nyumbani. Ukiweza pata chance ya kufika kwa ofisi, hata wakupige, wakuue, ebu, ebu wakuue, ebu wakuue kwa hiyo ofisi. Usirudi penye utakuwa peke yako, penye hakuna mtu atakupigania. Penye utaenda upokonywe simu, ubaki kama unahangaika mwenyewe. Usirudi, wacha wakuulie kwa hiyo ofisi. Haina haja, utoke kwa hiyo ofisi yenye wamekupiga, urudi kwa ile nyumba ambayo umeponea kifo, 
umeona kila yenye unapitia kila kila wakati kila wakati usikubali kurudi kwa ile nyumba ambayo umetoka na ukiona kesi yako imeenda kwa mtandao usikubali kwenda kwa nyumba yoyote rudi nyumbani just hustle from home Bendi na nasema si mabosi wengine si mabosi wengine ni wabaya mimi nashukuru amwani one month bila issue yoyote Amen There's some bosses kuna bosses wazuri kuna bosses wabaya Eyo ni reality na tunamulika ndio watu wajue nyewe hizi vitu zinafanyikaga ukisikia mtu akisema hiyo kitu yani ni mtu ambaye anatafuta yani vile alibahatika akakuja nyumbani yani ni mtu ako, anajaribu aelezee watu ile giza giza ni story yake anajieleza personal yeye anasema hata mama yake ataiona kwa mtandao for the first time lakini ni vile anataka create awareness pia yeye in a way watu wajue this vitu huwa zinafanyika na watu wanaumia Yes, the Lord is telling me, "Men shall rise up."